To the guy named Dan, who's not a fan of the Entitlement Society, ours has become, and Cato Institute's Dan Mitchell says, no wonder the media is in a fit. Mitt just tore open a big old scab. Um, did he comport himself well in response, Dan? What do you think? I think everything he said to you was very accurate. I just wish he had picked the right number to start with. The right number isn't the number of people or the share of households who aren't paying tax. Yes, that's important, and I think he answered that well. The key variable is the share of households that are getting redistribution from the government, because those are the people, if we're worried about America being sort of lulled into Greek-style dependency, and we're worried about America's welfare state metastasizing into what we're seeing in Europe with bankruptcies and fiscal chaos, that's the number we should be concerned about. Because, as Governor Romney said, there are a lot of Americans who don't earn enough to pay taxes, but they're not part of the moocher class. They have jobs, and maybe they have a number of kids, and that's exempting them from the federal income tax, but they definitely don't see themselves as part of the dependency culture. The dependency culture is from things like the huge expansion in food stamps, uh, the number of people who are trapped into unemployment by uh, the unemployment insurance programs. Those are the things that we should worry about because that's, I think, what has destroyed the work ethic and the culture of self-reliance in Europe. You know, it's interesting. You can always talk about trying to rein the growth of government in. And, and try to adjust the, the, the clear, in, in, you know, inadequacies therein. W and you always come up looking like a bastard, right? And, 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 and uh, there's no way to explain how we've gotten to the point now where 46, 47 percent don't pay taxes. Like you say, many genuinely don't uh, have to with credits and allowances, maybe courtesy of the 86 Tax Act. Under Ronald Reagan, it grew to be what it is. There's many who are genuinely poor. But to get to the point where almost half are not paying income taxes shows me almost half who don't have any skin in the game. Now, that doesn't mean they're all in, in, in Barack Obama's corner, and I agree with you that but by insinuation, that's what Mitt Romney seemed to be giving up on, which might be a bit premature. But I do think it gets back to a better argument. What, what do we want to be as a country? Back to the average of in the mid to high 20s, which seemed high even to me, who don't pay income taxes, or what, you know? The argument about skin in the game clearly is very, very important. If we wind up with a country where most people don't pay tax, and then you have some class warfare politician promising some new freebies from the government and saying, oh, only 20 percent of the people will pay tax, then you get the very unhealthy political dynamic you have in countries like Italy and France and Greece. And we all know where that ends, because sooner or later, if the number of people I don't know riding if we in the wagon that, Dan, are so think, much... But you hit a very crucial one. I don't know if we all know that. And I don't know whether the governor articulated that. Or, or, or passionately spoke about his worries regarding that. Because a lot of people just assume we can keep this entitlement nation going uh, undeterred. No, you're, you're probably right on that. And that's, frankly, the, the job of those that, of us who work at think tanks, the job of uh, people in the media such as yourselves. If we don't educate the American people about the risk of continuing on this path, and we already know because of demographics and entitlements, we're going to be Greece in 20 years anyhow in the absence of reform. And that's why a lot of people are very encouraged that Romney selected Paul Ryan as his running mate, because he actually is an expert on entitlement reform. But you're right. We have to make sure people understand what the choice really is. Do you want the fiscal chaos, the social disarray, uh, the economic nightmare of Greece and Italy and Spain? Or do we want to try to in effect, restore the American principles of a work ethic, self-reliance, free enterprise, and economic growth. Now, whether Romney will do all those things if he gets elected, I have no idea. Right. But that is what is at stake for America at some point in the next 10, 15, 20 years. And you just very elegantly said it. Uh, Dan, thank you very, very well, much. You, Dan Mitchell.